In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to take artwork which has been designed in another program, like here in Corel, that's also had a contour cut line placed around it, as we can see here. Now the objective here is to take this artwork with this contour cut line, print it on a device, then load it back into our cutter, and cut it accurately. Now we can do that easily by using templates, and I'll show you what I mean by that. First thing we need to do is back in the software here is click on this button here and click on Contour Cut Wizard. So we open that up and in here you can see that we've got our cutter that we have and what marks we're going to use. Now we can change these settings if we like but to begin with what we're interested in is this Templates option here. So we click this and we can see here we can check this here Enable Template. Now there's not many settings here to check. I mean all we need to do is make sure the size is correct. So what we do here is the artwork we have is 15 inches by 15 inches, so we'll put that in like that, or 381 by 381. The next stage is just simply to save this template, so you click that, and we'll give it a name, so we'll call it, I don't know, Fruit, and click Save. So that saves the template, and as you can see it loads up immediately in Adobe Reader, and it shows us the marks that we're going to create, and of course we can set the marks back in the um, Contour Cut Wizard, but for the sake of the lesson I just wanted to show you how this works. So it creates the marks, and it also gives us a template ID. Now if I zoom into there, you can see that it's template ID number 2 here. So OK, we can close that out, and we can click Done here. And I was just going to say before that you can change the marks here, and you can resave the template, and you've got other mark options here, etc. But the default settings are usually very good. So once we've done that, the next stage, just cancel out of that, is we now need to go back into Corel, or any of our software, it doesn't matter if it's Illustrator or Corel or whatever it happens to be. And you can see here that we've got this page here and our artwork is about 15 inches by 15 inches. Now the key here is we create a second page and what we're going to do is import that template we just created. So we'd go down here and click on import. And this window opens up and we look for fruit.pdf and click on import. Yeah, that's fine and click it there. Now it's probably best to center it on the page. The reason we do that is so that we can line this artwork up with our template. Now let me explain how the template works exactly. So we have our marks here, and you can see that I've made sure that my page size here of being 18 inches square, uh, or 450 mils, is uh, bigger or larger than the actual artwork that I'm going to print. That's important because you want to make sure you print the marks out. If you don't print the marks out, you've got nothing to scan. So that's an important thing to know. The next thing to know is this boundary here. Now this actually represents the page size. And by that I mean the page size that we've created the template at. Okay, so if we go back to page one here, we can see this is our artwork here. And what we want to do is make sure that the position of this artwork matches the template. And the easiest way to do that is to simply draw a marquee over the artwork like that, come up here and copy it, Go back to page 2 and paste it. And as you can see, it pastes it within the page or the template border that we've got there. So that's because I've made the template the correct size to begin with when I, was, uh, when I clicked on Enable Template and typed in those two measurements. Now, what's really, really critical here is that any artwork that you do bring into a template actually fits within these bounds. Because if it doesn't fit within those bounds, then it's not going to cut correctly. So once we've brought our artwork in, the next stage is, is we must separate the contour cut line with the template background from the printable artwork with the marks. Okay, that's very important. So we're going to separate our print from our cut. Simple as that. And the easiest way to do that is to just create a layer. And to create a layer is very easy. All you do is here on page 2, you go uh, New Layer, and we just call it something like, I don't know, Cut Layer, just so it's clear. So we've got this Cut Layer now, and all we have to do is simply move off this artwork, this Contour Cut Line, onto the, uh, the template border here. So we can simply click Fruit here, bring that over, and we also need to bring over the template border. And that's represented by this curve here, this white curve. The black curves there are the marks. So you've got that curve there. Again, um, probably the easiest way to, to do that is you can go edit and you can go cut, like Control X here is the shortcut. 
and that will cut that. And then we can come up here to the cut layer and we can just simply go paste like so or control V in this particular program. And what we've done there is we've moved the um, contour cut line and the template border across. Obviously we can't see the um, the contour cut line so we just need to change the Z order by simply moving that up like so. And now we can see the contour cut line and the template border. Now if I simply turn off, um, I'll just collapse that, if I, if I sh show, don't show or hide the uh, all the artwork, the layer 1 artwork, you can see now the template and the image has has been is no longer showing and vice versa I bring that back and I turn that off you can now see we have the printable part of our artwork so now what we have to do is print this artwork out and it's very simple we can come up to the file menu here and click print set our printer and some options and click print here and the artwork will then print out onto our printer a lot of the time you may want to send this off to a large format printer or to a friend's printer or in another location, whatever it happens to be. So the other option is to actually save that as a PDF file. So what you can do there is just select all the items and click File and come down to Publish to PDF, like so. And you might give it a name like, um, say, Fruit Print Number 2, for example. Just click on the Settings button here and make sure that Selection is checked there. Click OK and then Save. I'll show you what that looks like. As you can see, it loads into a day reader like so. We've got our template ID number two up there, and we've given it that name so we can cross-reference that. So that artwork, we take it off, or go with it, and get it printed, and then we load this printed artwork back into our vinyl cutter. So once we've done that stage, the next thing we need to do is to actually send, and I'll just turn that off and turn that back on, we need to send this artwork, this part of the artwork, the cut part, because we've now finished the print component, we now need to send the cut part over to our vinyl cutter. So to do that's very easy. Again, we just draw a marquee over it. Uh, file Publish to PDF is a good option. And here we might call this Fruit Cut 2. So it all matches up. Settings again, Selection, OK, Save. And that's now created that file. Now, I'll show you how that file works. Just move Corel off for a moment. So back in our uh, main designing program here, all we need to do now is go File, Import, File, and I'll bring that over like so, and we call it FruitCut2.pdf and click Open. Yes, we want to import it as editable. That means it's, it remains as curves. That's very important. Don't check uh, Rendered because that makes it a bitmap. So we must rem remember to keep it as editable. Click Accept. And it really doesn't matter where we place this on our artwork because we're going to load this into the Contour Cut Wizard. So once we've got this artwork back in here, click on this button, Contour Cut Wizard, click OK. Then what we need to do is come back to this Templates tab, Enable Template. This time we check Apply Mark Template to Artwork. It automatically selects the most recent template that was created, in this case number two, and here's our artwork ready to go. So now that we've got our printed artwork loaded into our vinyl cutter, the next stage is to line everything up and just cut out this contour cut line. And because we've uh, positioned everything correctly, it should cut out very accurately. So if I click Cut Template and I now click Cut Now, it loads it into the Align Cut File Wizard as we can see here. Now this part is important because we need to make sure that what we have loaded into our vinyl cutter matches the image here. So if you happen to load it in, say on that angle, like so, you need to use these Rotate tools and you can use those there. We'll just assume we've put it in this way for the sake of the exercise. The next stage, of course, is to line up your laser pointer or the laser sensor in the bottom right-hand corner here where these two marks intersect right in the very corner. And then what you need to do is click Start, like so. And our arms controller comes up, as you can see, with our marks ready to go. We can set all these settings. I cover these in other lessons. I'm not going to go into it now. You click Scan, and it goes through and scans in the marks ask if you're ready to go ahead and cut it and it sends it to the vinyl spooler like so and you can cut that immediately or you can come back and cut it at a later time. So that's how the templates work for creating um, or using artwork that's been created in another program. So whether it's Corel Draw or Adobe Illustrator or any other graphics program, by using this template system and following the instructions here and in the manual, you'll find that you can create artwork in other programs 
and accurately contour cut them using this software. So that's the end of this lesson. Thank you.